Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Independent Street NOLA and Seasons is Ritual and I'm here with my good friend Helen the Crimson Cadaverous. Hi. Once again in outer space. Yes. And this is our Memorial Day extravaganza. Yes. So it's going to be quick and sweet because Helen said next this week is a lot of fun. Yeah, it is fun. And we've got a Sagittarius full moon. The, nothing is more fun than that, right? Thank you. Um, and then she said, we have all these conjunctions in Taurus. Yeah. I think her exact words were shit ton. Yes, a I shit like ton. It. It's definitely a shit ton. Okay, I'm here for it. So let's yeah. start with today, which is Monday. Yes. Okay, so the moon is in Virgo. Actually, the moon has already moved into Libra by okay. this time. So the moon has already moved to Libra. Go for it. Yes. And this to me is like a really great day for like kind of continuing to clear out the debris of old timelines and paradigms as we kind of shift into the new. So we've got that trine with Pluto, which is just kind of like, you know, clearing things off, allowing us to kind of elevate some things up that we've had pressed down. Sextile with Mars is powering us up. I'm just with Neptune. We're connecting with the higher self. It's It's a real good day. It really is. This is so atropo for what we were talking about before we hit record. Yes. Yes. Right. Balancing okay. things out. Right. And seriously, letting go of those old stories and realizing that they were probably never about you. They never will be. Um, and they won't be moving forward. This is about everyone else with their stories. And then us personally realizing our own personal power today is what I see it and how we start to balance that out. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We're definitely focusing on writing our own narratives and mm -hmm. letting the old ones go. Yeah, because Mars sextiling Mars and Leo. That's 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 um confidence moving forward. Yes. Also, confidence moving forward after that after being being vulnerable. I've been very sensitive the last week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely. In like in like a higher sense, like higher sense, like. Like, I know we do this for a living and sometimes there's things that we're sensitive to, but I mean, last week or maybe, I mean, it's super sensitive. So I really felt like this, that was a changing, um, to get into this new energy. Yes. Okay. Tuesday, the moon will still be in Libra. Yes. Okay. And It'll be go ahead. pretty, pretty, uh, chill day with the moon, mm -hmm. but that is our first, um, conjunction of the week with Uranus conjunct Vesta. Nice. So Uranus is the awakener. He's always kind of helping us uh, look from an awakened mind, a higher mind, a different perspective. Um, and Vesta is our spiritual flame. Mm -hmm. So we may be considering our spiritual devotion in a completely different way mm -hmm. when Uranus and Vesta form a conjunction. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that. I really feel like too, because it's going to be conjunct in Taurus, correct? Uh, yes. Yes. Right. So that's our Taurus conjunction. So, or one of them, many. And so, like you said, Uranus, this awakening. But again, like to that person, our personal power, what does spirituality mean to us? How we light our, our fire and grounding that in. Okay. Wednesday, the moon will still be in Libra before it moves yes. into Scorpio. Yes. Moves into Scorpio, forms a square with Venus. So, we're definitely making sure that we're honoring our self-worth. Um, we're honoring our values. And we also have a square with Pluto. So okay. of course, Pluto is going to, you know, challenge us to make sure, you know, whatever's kind of shoved down deep inside, we're letting that come out. We're transmuting it. We're um, letting it transform us. So the square is with Pluto, who's still in Aquarius, right? It's, right. Yes. Pluto's right. still in Aquarius for a little while longer, another uh, week and a half about. Okay, and so the moon, when it moves into Scorpio and it's having that square, it, I, I feel like that's going to be a good day. I really feel like um, a lot of release that day because yeah. um, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Yep. And so, you know, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, who is, is still in Taurus. And so it kind of touches yeah. on what's happening today. Mm-hmm. Um, so Wednesday is going to be a good day. Again, if you guys drink lots of water, make sure you guys give yourself plenty of time to let this stuff move through. It's the end of the month. You know, um, if there is, um, you know, sometimes squares can be taxing on the body in different ways. 
Um, and the fact that the moon is in Scorpio, that's a lot of water. <laughs> that's a lot of water. Yeah, a lot of water, a lot of digging deep. So be sure and use your intuition that day and just know, like, let it go. Let like let it trans let it transmute, let it transform. That's gonna be a big day. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so Thursday the moon will be still be in Scorpio. Yes. And we're actually dipping back into that like kind of T-square fixed grand cross energy that we had going on last week mm -hmm. with the moon in Scorpio opposite Jupiter and North Node in Taurus and then squaring Mars in Leo. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of dipping back into that energy, that tense energy that was, you know, challenging us to move forward, leave things behind. Mm -hmm. um, and now, you know, the moon is involved. So it's like, you know, we're kind of feeling our way through it. But again, that's not the biggest story of the day. <laughs> the conjunction. We've got Jupiter forming a conjunction with the North Node, which um, Jupiter is a great benefactor. He brings us luck, faith, optimism. And the North Node is the direction we're moving in. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, to me, the way I read that is feeling really positive and optimistic about the direction we're moving in. I and agree. actually, feeling like we can move in that direction. Right. With that, with, I agree. Now it's like, okay, now I see it. I can do this. Okay, good, good, good. Um, and Jupiter is in Taurus in the North Node. I mean, Taurus has been in the North Node. So, yeah. Um, again, all this Earth, see, it, this is good with all this grounding energy, you know, that's keeping yeah. us grounded. So, that's yeah. really good. Okay, Friday, the moon will be in Scorpio. Yes opposite mercury uranus and vesta like all that energy that's in taurus mm -hmm. so like kind of almost like balancing out where it's like we're grounded but we're also still transmuting so it's like we're staying keeping our feet on the ground you know but still kind of changing things for ourselves we're able to speak about it we're able to understand that there's something moving you know with all yeah. that with mercury uranus and, um, uranus and vesta yeah. Right. And we're actually going to also have a grand water trine with the moon in Scorpio with trining Venus in Cancer and Neptune in Pisces. So that is a very harmonious aspect that, um, you know, sparks creativity, helps us tap into our intuition, helps us let our feelings flow. So if there's anything that we've kind of been holding on to, that is going to be a great day to kind of let it flow out. And I will say this, I've been, this has been coming in kind of hot the past since Saturday, quite honestly. If you guys are still trying to figure things out, like mentally, when we have, it, it's important, I feel like at this time right now, especially since you just pointed out this um, grand water trying, allow things just to go, like, don't think about it. You know, this is the part where we talk about surrendering. It's important just to surrender yes let, that's that's gonna let things transmute you don't have to figure it out and if you're just like oh i don't know but just do it a little time say i'm, I'm surrendering you know and it's part of giving that over and so that new energy could come in so use that day if you guys are comfortable working with the idea with the idea but with the feeling of surrender yes there's definitely a lot of surrender to this energy and it's a very feminine energy mm -hmm. so, so definitely nurturing. one that we want to nurture ourselves through yeah okay so saturday yes that's a big day because we've got that sagittarius full moon which is yeah. very exciting um sagittarius rules jupiter so of course there's a very jovial optimistic energy to it mm -hmm. and whenever we have a full moon we've got the sun opposite the moon so the sun is kind of shining a light across at the moon, you know, revealing some feelings, um, revealing anything, you know, that's kind of been held a little bit inside. But I think this is going to be a soft landing because it's a Sagittarius full moon. I agree. And, and, you, and you guys like, so these full moons, right? With me that, okay, this is when we start setting those intentions. So using this week, seeing what came up to the surface that you're not going to bring with you, right? Um, but you do now have a better sense of yourself and how you want to move forward. Start setting those intentions, right? With this full moon, the other ones will be released. And then you can see um, what you want to take. And that um, full moon is in Gemini, correct? Uh, yeah. Or the sun is going to be in Gemini. I mean, so the sun is in Gemini. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I somehow knew what you meant. Okay. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> we, we do this all the time. Um, and we also have a square with Saturn at the same time, 
-hmm. which I think is kind of like almost like a give and take kind of energy because obviously Sagittarius is very jovial and expansive, but Saturn's going to kind of help us challenge us to kind of pull the reins in a little bit and make sure we're being responsible about what we're deciding and yeah. make, you know, dot the I's, cross the T's, that kind of thing, which may not, you know, sound like the funnest thing, but those are the things that are important for establishing solid foundations. Yeah, I was going to say, um, yes, because the moon is in Gemini. Gotcha, gotcha. Because um, with that Saturn, right, we are starting to feel this idea of um, happiness that things we can make things work instead of just being totally head in the clouds. Yeah. So that square with Saturn is great um, to bring to bring the foundation, like you said, in so we can because since we know where we're since we I mean this was we've let go up a lot so so we start these new um chapters with this new um these new setting intentions that square in Saturn is really going to help us lay that foundation yes okay Sunday Moonstone yeah. and Sag yep Moonstone and Sag um squaring Neptune which I feel like is you know allowing us to really tap into our higher self and get connected with it Mm -hmm. um but big story on that day another conjunction in taurus we've yes. got mercury conjunct uranus which mercury is the mind and uranus is the higher octave of mercury like the awakened mind mm -hmm. so to see these together it's almost like establishing like a really solid foundation with our mind but from a higher point i like it I, and i think i'm just gonna I, and i agree with you it's sort of like that zen moment yes Absolutely. And this is definitely like an energy of like, you know, we might change our minds about some things and yeah. like in a very, in a good way, like where we're like, oh, I never thought about it that way. There's a totally different way of doing this. With Mercury conjunct Uranus, there are a lot of things we're going to realize there's a different way of doing things. Bring in that new perspective. Yes. 100%. Okay. So we're going to leave it at that. This was a really down and dirty Helen's at work. So I thank, I like you for, it. thank you for taking time out of the middle of your day. Yeah, no problem. I'm, I'm glad we got a chance to do it because I think this is still a really exciting week to talk about. Yeah, it's going to be like you said, a really fun week. So and I'm fucking, yeah. I'm saying fuck, I'm fucking here for it, man. This, the past two weeks have been a lot of movement. So yes. everybody give yourself a pat on the back. Helen, if they want to get in touch with you to get a reading, how can they do that? Um, they can either reach out to me on Instagram or YouTube, or, you know, they can always book with me at Medusa's Lair as well. Okay, great. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your work day. Yes. Thank you. You enjoy your day as well. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, until next time, have a great Memorial Day. Bye. Bye. -bye.